Blogging is making a major comeback. Starting in September of last year, Google absolutely Whoa. crushed tons of small publishers who saw their search rankings tank. The helpful content update that Google unleashed was unforgiving for so many bloggers out there. However, after a year of waiting, we are finally seeing some major upticks in traffic from sites that were hit. In today's video, I'm going to share several examples of sites that have increased in traffic by as much as 922% in the last month. I'll also share the strategies that some of these sites have implemented to bring their sites back from the dead. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. In addition, I'll share a tool that one blogger used on her site over the last few months, and she's now getting more traffic from Google than ever before. So was it Google's August update that has so many sites back on track? Towards the end of last year, it came to my attention that we had a major bug in one of our core products. Or did small publishers do something special to start getting traffic again? Well, it's a bit of both. I believe a lot of sites are now seeing an uptick in traffic trends, and they didn't do anything. In my opinion, Google essentially went too far with the helpful content update. Oops, we crushed thousands of bloggers. Now, a year later, Google has apologized by rolling out this new update that is recovering sites hit by the helpful content update. However, the sites that are seeing the biggest gains have definitely been putting in lots of work. Let's take a look at a few sites and what they're doing to get their blogging mojo back. First of all, it's not just sites that were a squeaky wheel that saw recoveries. A lot of people have been pushing this conspiracy theory that sites like House Fresh and Retro Dodo that made a lot of noise on Twitter and other places and complained are the only sites that saw an increase in traffic. That is absolutely not true. Although you can see that House Fresh, I mean this absolute monster of a month, they are getting tons of traffic back. And then Retro Dodo has finally reversed the trend after the helpful content update. But they are definitely not the only sites and the dozens of other sites that were sort of this squeaky wheel. They're not the only sites that are seeing a recovery in their traffic. There are thousands and thousands of sites that over the last month are seeing a huge uptick in traffic. I'm going to just share a few of them, but there are thousands out there. For example, cordcutting.com. You can see just in the last few weeks, this is a 922% traffic increase. Now, if you look at the bigger trend, they have a similar trend here that they peaked, you know, back in September before the helpful content update, but now they are getting back on track. Now, I have a lot of other sites and I have a lot to say about these trends, so please stick around. This other site, telescopicwatch.com, huge traffic increase. And what I love about this site is that it is a standard content website. They have the buying guides, the affiliate guides. This is an affiliate content website that is seeing a huge uptick in traffic. So it's proof that content websites can do really well in Google. And Google is reversing that trend for a lot of these sites that were hit with the alpha content update. Now, if you look at the larger trend, of course, they've gained... I would say 50%, maybe more than 50% of the traffic that they've lost. But what's interesting is that this trend, and I'll reiterate this on all the sites that we look at, the August core update ended about a week ago, but the traffic has still been increasing over the last week, meaning this is not the end of the traffic increases. Ahrefs and other tools, they take time to catch up and the full impact of updates can take a month or more. And so this traffic trend is going up and up and up. And I would not be surprised if a site like this has more traffic in a month than it did before the helpful content update. And we're going to see this time and time again. And here's another site, airfryingfoodie.com. So food websites are seeing a recovery. Affiliate websites are seeing a recovery. And yes, if you do look at the overall trend, right? Uh, it's it's reversed from, from where it was, you know, a year ago, which is good. It's moving in the right direction. We've got World of Printables, a unique sort of content website 
but it's seeing a major uptick, hundreds of percent increase in traffic over the last few weeks. But again, I will just say it's going to take another few weeks, maybe a month. And I would not be surprised if many of these sites end up with more traffic than before the helpful content update. Here's another big one seeing a huge uptick in traffic. And uh, some of these sites, um, like this one here, coinvaluechecker.com, it, it was not hitting the helpful content update unless it was a site redirect because, um, anyways, we, I won't dive into all the details, but it was hit in the March core update. It lost so much traffic, but it is now officially more traffic than it was at its peak before the March core update. So a lot of good things are definitely happening in this update. And then the final site, I'm not going to share the actual name of this site because the site owner shared this website with me and she asked that I not share this publicly. However, you can see that her traffic is now the highest it's ever been, including a year ago in September. And uh, this traffic, I expect this traffic trend to continue. And I'm going to dive into some of the details on this website specifically and including the tool that she's used and some of the strategies that she's used so that you can implement this on your own website. So what did these sites do to see such a big increase? Well, honestly, some of them did nothing. Google just fixed some of the mistakes they made. We fixed it. However, the site seeing the biggest increases are putting in the work. They are actually removing or updating unhelpful content. I spoke to this site owner and she's been going through and updating lots of content to make it more useful and removing fluff. In addition, sites that have lots of unhelpful content might need to actually remove lots of articles. If you have an article on your site that isn't getting any traffic, you should probably just remove it and redirect the URL to a more useful article. You can take a look at Google Analytics or Google Search Console to see which articles on your site are getting less than 20 or so visitors per month. If the article isn't getting much traffic and it doesn't have any backlinks from external sites, you should probably just delete it and add a 410. However, if it has external backlinks pointing to it, go ahead and add a 301 redirect to a more relevant article or your homepage. When you prune out your least popular articles, that gives Google less pages to crawl and increases the percent of your articles that it deems helpful. The higher percent of articles that are getting traffic on your site, the more likely your site as a whole will perform better in Google. Now, this site owner that I spoke to didn't stop there. She mentioned a software tool that she's been using to help some of this traffic increase. She's been using Link Whisper to add, fix, and fully manage her internal linking. You see, internal links are perhaps one of the most underutilized aspects of SEO. Yet, it's one of those things that Google says you should be doing. Each time this site owner updates an article, she makes sure it has a relevant internal link using Link Whisper. In addition, you can use Link Whisper to make sure the anchor text of all your internal links for a particular page are optimized. You certainly want to be using keywords in your anchor text of internal links some of the time. But if 100% of your internal links are using the exact same keyword phrase, that's over-optimized and might actually cause Google to not rank your page as well. So, use Link Whisper to quickly see all the anchor text for your internal links. You can then tweak the anchor text directly in Link Whisper, or even remove internal links if you feel like they are no longer relevant. Links are the backbone of Google. You can use Link Whisper to not only help you quickly add internal links, but you can also get full reporting so you know exactly what pages need attention or which internal links need to be changed. If you want to check out Link Whisper, just head over to linkwhisper.com and use coupon code VIDEO at checkout in order to get $25 off today. As a heads up, that's the biggest discount on Link Whisper that you're going to find out there. Want to see nine secret internal link building strategies to boost your page views? Go ahead and check out the recent video I created right here. Thanks again for watching.